Hello, good evening. My name is Josephine from Bones Time. Now for mission. Well, our first story. Physically challenged persons at Apple 4 in the Fenso municipality in the Ashanti region are agitating against the non-payment of their shares of the disability fund since 2011. They allege favoritism and lack of transparency in the disbursement of the fund. Ibrahim Abubakar has more. Persons with disabilities are entitled to 2% of the District Assembly's Common Fund to support their medical, educational and other development needs. Some beneficiaries invest their share of the fund to startups and other vocational business ventures. In the offensive municipality of the Ashanti region, most persons with disability have been receiving their share of the fund. However, at Abufo, a suburb of the municipality, the physically challenged persons complained they have been sidelined in the disbursement of the fund since 2011. The over 50 members, mostly females, say they have registered with the Department of Social Welfare with the hope of benefiting from the fund, but they are yet to receive their share. We have not any common funds. The disbursement of funds must be fair. We have been excluded from assessing the fund. Mr. Rabba said, "Oh my, yeah, yeah, waha. Come on, fund by yeah, yeah, be da. And no one say, yeah, waha, yeah, yeah, mobo, mobo." I am unemployed and never receive my share of the common fund. Government must help persons with disability in this community. You can't buy no microphone, who be? Yes, we are buying the penny be. The aggrieved members of the group are questioning the mode of disbursing the funds to their exclusion. They intend to stay away from voting in the December polls if they continue to be deprived of access to the funds. It has affected us a lot because, uh, as I told you already, that we have uh, uh, some members who are students and they need money to pay their uh, school fees because of the money because of the uh, unable to pay it as the common fund, they cannot go to school. And uh, even uh, we have some of them who can uh, who deserve to go to uh, make an operation. And because of the, the common fund, they cannot make the operation. So it's affecting us a lot. A member of the committee responsible for the disbursement of the disability fund Kotore Richard explained persons with disability may not have been properly registered. He is however hopeful the next batch of disbursement will benefit majority of them. Some residents of Agona Nyamin Dam have threatened to boycott political activities if they are not connected to the national grid. Lack of electricity, according to residents, is affecting economic activities and children's studies. Lucy Ayambila filed this report. Aguna Nyamendam is a community near Aguna Shredo in the Aguna West Municipality of the Central Region. With a population of over 1,000, the community has not been connected to the national grid. Although electricity pools can be sited in the community, connection to the national grid is yet to be done. Their source of information is through the use of radio sets. Residents use lamps as source of light. School children also have no choice than to study with lanterns. A junior high school student, Emmanuel Mensah, has ambitions of enrolling into one of the reputable senior high school in the central region. He fears the use of lantern to study at night could derail his ambition. We don't have light in this light I used to learn. Are you comfortable using this thing? No. We need light to learn. Some residents explain political parties have been campaigning in the community but have turned a blind eye to their challenges. They vowed to boycott political activities in the lead up to the elections. We are tired of their promises. We are not going to vote in the upcoming elections. Road network to Dagona Nyamendam is in poor state, making vehicular movement difficult during the rainy season. 
The poor state of Agona Safu Zion School in the Agona East District of the Central Region is adversely affecting academic work. School authorities say retention of students and teachers may be affected if junior high school department is not renovated. Another report by Lucy Ayambila. The Agona Asafu Zion Basic School was established in 1972. With a student population of 386, the junior high school has not been renovated since the school's establishment. Students study in the pavilion, which has developed cracks. This structure, which used to be the office for the headmistress, is in Westgate. The roofing of the pavilion leaves badly. As a result, students have to share the same classroom with pupils in the primary section. School authorities say they have converted the school's kitchen into classrooms for the kindergarten pupils due to limited infrastructure. As a result, cooking is done in the open as the school is a beneficiary from the school feeding program. Headmistress of the school, Harita Gatti, said pupils go to their houses during instructional hours to attend to nature school due to lack of toilet facility. Assembly members of the Agona Asafo Electoral Area, Robert Abeku Ansan, said he has tabled the issue on the floor of the Agona East District Assembly and looks forward for a response. The Agona Asafo community has produced several prominent people who have used education as the foundation of getting to the state where they are today. And so I strongly believe that everybody will come on board, especially leaders in our community, the chiefs and the people, elders, everybody will come on board to help solve the situation. Though the school teaches ICT, there are no computers to use. Mission is sponsored by Star Ghana, Danida, DFID and European Union. That's how we wrap up mission. Thank you for watching.